so this is what it looks like when you are your own stylist for your brand shoe i just picked out a couple looks that i feel were strong putting everything together i'm gonna bag them up so that when i get on set i can maximize my time and not have to worry about getting dressed so fun fact my makeup artist canceled on me the day of my shoot to pull something together thanks to YouTube University you know when you are a business owner a lot of things will be kind of thrown at you and the only way to learn how to get through it is to go through it so I just took this opportunity to kind of keep it moving I didn't really have any other options because everything was already scheduled and set in stone the videographer had literally flew in town so i had to make it work this was my attempt in trying to get some behind the scenes and some extra footage that i could use for something else trying to do a get ready with me i am not the best of these because i'm a super perfectionist so if i don't like how things look i won't post it but i'm trying to get over that so I'm trying to get ready for this shoot after having cancellations and some other weird things that were happening, but the show must go on. Honestly, I don't even get upset anymore when things happen. I take them as lessons that I'm supposed to learn and help me pivot. There is no guidebook when these things are happening. It's no one that you can call. You really just have to keep it moving when things are happening, especially when things are scheduled and booked and you have deadlines. You just got to keep it moving.
coordinating manager for a new company. Um, I really like to connect with friends, so I love when they reach out to me. It's just good for me to have those personal relationships, especially when my clients need something last minute or, you know, there's a particular piece that I want to get them for a trip or an event. So it's just really good for me to have these interpersonal relationships with them. So I'm off to go do that. I'm very selective about the companies that I work with. You know, I don't say yes to everything. I don't say no to everything. I weigh the pros and the cons. And ultimately, I have to put my brand first. You know, with every connection, I have to make sure that it makes sense. And it's going to be beneficial to myself and to my clientele. So I did get to connect with some of the staff and talk about different options, how I can incorporate my business. With I also tried on some shoes while I was in there, did a little browsing. So today I'm on the way to go preview the spring collection for this black owned woman brand called Chloe Kristen. I'm very excited. I was very impressed with the quality and the cut of these suits. Um, this is definitely a brand that really aligns with my target audience and my clientele and I'm grateful that I could even make this connection with them. Um, the videos and the photos really don't do the company any justice, but the stuff is really good, especially the different silhouettes of the suiting. The company was having a private trunk show, so I was able to get an appointment for my client, and she was able to come and shop. Now I'm about to stuff my face. Okay, bye.